Royston Siddons founded an industrial empire, Siddons Industries Limited, which at its peak had subsidiaries in six countries and 1,500 employees. He created the Sid Chrome brand and was Australian franchisee for Ramset Fasteners. Siddons was a practising Christian. At his church, Ivanhoe Methodist Church, he was a lay preacher, a trustee and Sunday school superintendent. He gave his country a tool with which to build. He gave his country the common spanner. One of his bequests continues to help students to train for the ministry of the Uniting Church in Australia. Royston Siddons was born in 1899 in Williamstown, Melbourne. He was the eldest son of an immigrant miner from England. He left school at 14 to help in his father's carrying business. The family moved to Wonthaggy, where Royston worked for the local coal mining company. In the evenings, he studied electrical engineering at Swinburne Technical College. At the age of 24, he married and also started as an electrical contractor with his own shop in Wonthaggy. Four years later, he sold this business and moved to Melbourne. He and his family lived with his parents while he worked in the manufacture of wireless radios. At the age of 32, he leased a metal casting factory in Collingwood and with a staff of four, began producing hardware items for cabinet makers. He survived the Depression and began to prosper, moving to a larger premises at Clifton Hill in 1934. Having perfected the die casting of padlocks from zinc alloy, he manufactured under the brand name Sidco. During World War II, he manufactured hand tools for the armed services, including gun parts and bomb caps. Post-war shortages of imported tools offered the opportunity for expansion, and his company certainly did expand. By 1945, Royston Siddons was supplying the domestic market with Sid Chrome spanners, pliers, chisels, wrenches, hammers and screwdrivers. In 1948, the company purchased a new factory site in Heidelberg. The business became a public company and Royston's son John started working in the company. As an employer, Royston promoted a harmonious workplace for his employees. The Siddons factory developed a number of innovations. One was low voltage resistance heating, a technique in forging invented by the company's laboratory head. They also developed a continuous OS tempering furnace, automatic electroplating and advanced forging presses from the United States of America. Royston's son John set up the Ramset franchise in Australia. Import restrictions forced the company to manufacture Ramset guns and pins in Australia. Siddons tools were exported to the Pacific Islands, Southeast Asia and the Middle East. The company continued to expand using drop forging and steel rolling. The board removed Royston as managing director in 1963 and gradually eased him out of management. He passed the chairmanship to his son in 1968 and he left the board in 1972. From the 1960s, Royston pursued other business interests with limited success in gold and opal mining and in citrus and olive farming. He was a director of various companies connected with his business. For recreation, he sailed and played bowls. He was a member of the Council of Melbourne's Wesley College School. Royston Siddons died in 1976. Through his Christian principles, he survived the Great Depression and flourished. He gave Australia the spanner, 
the Sid Chrome brand, and thousands of jobs. An advertising slogan which became synonymous with their brand was You can a hand a man a grand a spanner Than a Sid Chrome, that's the brand the expert use. Siddons was a devout Christian man and active in his church in teaching others about the Christian faith. We salute Royston Siddons, a Christian who made a difference. Christians made a difference.